See this very nice slide here on the screen? Yes, it was created purely and entirely in PowerPoint and this is a sample of a introduction slide and you will learn how to create one like this right here, right now. Hello professionals, here is Jogo Rodão with another tip to dramatically enhance your ability to deliver professional presentations in your work. In today's class, you will learn how to produce a professional introduction slide. Have you realized that the vast majority of the presentations that you see are quite simple or even ugly? At my perspective, a well done presentation being given to the right audience with the right message is the trigger that allows you to achieve your objective. It may be selling a product, an idea, a report, a plan. Nowadays, PowerPoint is being used for virtually anything that you need. To achieve these results, you must know where and how to manipulate PowerPoint elements. So in this class, you will learn how to find, download and use stock pictures completely free for you, how to manipulate shapes, layers, fonts, shadows, and also how to play with uh, animations. Ready to start? Let's see the screen. Here, folks, is the slide that you're gonna create. If we put it to play, see? Working perfectly, all right? Then, how to create it? Let's start from scratch with a blank slide. That image, you can find it here on this website called the Pixabay. Here, I am using the image New York City 336475. Let's say speed this search up and just put the ID directly. So this is the image that I'm using. You must register yourself in order to be able to download it, but uh, it is free to download. Once you have your profile created, just download it. Then, once you are done downloading, get the image, get your PowerPoint, and just drag onto it. Close this idea stuff. <laughs> Stretch it to fit. I don't like stretching, but when you are playing with masks, better that to have one very nice reference because you're gonna need two cops of this image and that they must match the original size perfectly. So if you don't know how to manipulate or create masks in PowerPoint, check out this video up here where I'm teaching you everything about the masks in PowerPoint. So Photoshop like masks in PowerPoint, that is a very nice trick. Then I'm not gonna show those things here because it will be this video would become just too long. So I will just skip that mass creation part. Check out this video here, it will be very nice for you. Okay, now let's create the mask here. In short words, I needed to use here insert, here on shapes, this element here, freeform shape. Then I need to create one freeform all around the element that I want to, the mask to work on. Once the mask is created, I need to fill it up with an image and then stretch. I'm gonna get there. All right, mask is created. Now let's put some color on it, make it transparent, make it more like a Photoshop, you know? Now, let's fill this mask up with that picture, the same uh, New York picture. And here comes the trick. I'll come to format, crop, and then stretch this crop up to make one reverse crop and uh, it will allow you the mask to be created. Again, for more details about how to create the mask, check out on here on the description the link for that uh, video for myself where I teach you how to create it. So, mask is done. Let's enable the selection pane. See here? So far, no change, right? Now, let's add this background here, the one that will be spinning. That image I also took from Pixabay, it's this image here, Cyber3400789, drag it here, let's reduce the zoom a lot, because I need that this image to put you completely cover the whole slide size, even when spinning. So hold Ctrl and Alt to increase the image size towards the edges, 
let's spin it and see that it will cover the whole slide. See, it's not covering it. See here, not covering it. So let's continue increasing it. Control and out, click on the edge and increase it. And uh, now it's covering, see? Now it's covering completely. So put it back to where it was. Let's right click on it. Choose format picture. Here on here on picture, let's let's choose picture transparency and put here 85%. We will, we will barely see it and it's it's fine. Now let's feature the screen and add some animation on this. So let's use the let's click on this very little button here more and let's choose spin and see now it's spinning but it's spinning too fast. So let's um, make it make the duration a lot bigger. Let's make it 10 seconds. Then once you play it, see, it's now more normally spinning. Then let's just make sure that uh, it's aligned to the center and uh, the middle for the spin to be perfect. And also click here back to animation pane, activate the animation pane like this. You, you're gonna see the single line, double click on it. Make sure to enable auto reverse. Here, let's make it only 90 degrees. It's not spin much. Here, let's make a one second bounce end. And here, 0.05 is move. Here on timing, we can make it a very slow five seconds and uh, repeat until the end of this slide. In this way, it will be spinning over and over without stop. So let's play. See? And it came back. It will go vertically and come back again. All right? All right, guys, so the background is created. Let's make sure that uh, it's uh, behind our mask. How to do that? Here on Format, let's enable Selection Pane and uh, make sure that uh, this shape is the first element. See? Now it's uh, over the background. See? How the background is moving behind our mask. Very nice, don't you think? Let's see the screen. Now let's start adding our our texts. So let's go to home, add here your success. Let's add other text starts and add other texts here. All right, let's uh, hold control, choose all three, choose the font Banscript Condensed. The name of this font is here in the description. It's a very complicated name. I don't know why people do it so complicated names for fonts. Let's make it yellow just for us to see it better and uh, increase the size to 60 at least. Now let's start positioning our texts. This one will go somewhere here, a little over the bridge. This one will go somewhere here, a little down your success. This one will go here, also a little under the, the bridge. This one here, let's make it 70 increase the width to fit this one here let's make it 120 else now let's move it here under the bridge all right again let's make the bridge select the bridge let's make it over the text see this way now let's put the colors let's click here go to format now choose this this red here this one here is better I'll choose this one here now. I'll pick up yellow. Very nice. Now, now I hold Shift to select all three. Right click on any format shape. Select again, just in case. I'll click here on Effects button under Shadow. I'm gonna choose the first option, the offset bottom right. Just create some density you know, over this and better contrast. Let's close this. All right, so let's let's start adding some animation to this. Let's click on the first text. Let's click on animation. Let's click on this little button here on the bottom right corner. And uh, let's choose more entrance effects. And let's choose expand. All right, now you guys can see that is appearing here behind the bridge. Click on it again. Make sure that it starts with previous. Now let's click on start. And let's make it float in. See? Now let's change the direction to the top down. And do the same here with the yellow one. Let's, let's choose float in. And this one leave it bottom up. 
Now let's define when these guys will appear. So click on the first one, click on start, click here on animation pane, choose with previous, same as the, the bottom one here, choose with previous. They will look like starting at the same time, and if we start, see, they are on the same time, but we, but we want one after another. So let's do some delay here, right here is good, and also increase the delay here, right here is also good enough. So let's play again. See? Very nice. They are elegantly starting almost when the previous one is finishing. See? Very nice. Now, if you have any sort of logo, just add it down here to your, to your slide. I like this option expand here a lot. And it is already positioned here to start with previous, with a, a good delay. So once you play it, voila, you have your professionally created slide ready for you to shine on your work with your customers, with your peers, etc. All right, what do you think about this slide? You don't need to create this very model here. The purpose of this video was to demonstrate PowerPoint versatility in creating stunning, impacting professional results. Aren't you a subscriber yet? If you haven't seen until here, that means that you like it, right? So what are you waiting for? The subscription button is right down here on the bottom right of this screen. Just waiting for you to click on it and give me this tremendous help in growing my little channel and supporting me in continuing posting more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you on next week.